It's an effort to help kids learn about life. Well, one North Decatur elementary school teacher is using a creative teaching method, bringing kids and foster puppies together. RTV6's Lauren Casey shows us how these pooches are helping students in the classroom and will eventually help an entire community. Everyone loves a warm and fuzzy story, and today I'm bringing you both, and I mean literally. Take a look here at Lunchbox. He's a very important member of Mrs. Smith's first and second grade class. It's all part of the Puppy Project, a unique educational approach that's working wonders in the classroom. So you get to redo a puppy today? Yep. People say... Can you tell me a little bit about this Puppy Project? It's really cool. Well, it's cute. Attendance is better. <laughs> Homework is done, and it's just very motivating. Linda Smith is no newcomer to the classroom. Her 40 years experience shines through a unique learning project that takes these now four-week-old puppies okay, you have three minutes. and turns them into tools for learning. Mrs. Smith will hand you a puppy and a little towel, and really the purpose is like to get comfortable while you're reading. The puppies not only serve as easy listeners for Smith's first and second grade readers, they are also the faces of their puppy project. Together, the class is publishing a book on fostering puppies. From authors to artists to accountants, every student has a special job for the puppy project. I'm in the tech group, and we are typing to other authors. But Smith's plan for the pups is twofold, and their presence in the classroom translates across all subjects. You know, if it's on a worksheet, it's not real exciting, but if it's changing the word puppy, Puppy into puppies, there's a purpose for learning that rule. Real life application that sticks with her young students. Subtraction and adding and lots of stuff. I gave you eight dollars change. We talk so much about the standards and we get them all covered, Definitely. you know, just in a little more fun way. Lauren Casey, RTV6. And the students will use the proceeds from their book to buy their local canine officers some much needed training equipment.